Hi everyone, this is Phil Nguyen, and this today is my last Invisalign tray, number 33 out of 33. I've spent the last nine months changing trays every seven or eight days or so, and this is my last one. I actually have a smile now that the front teeth or the top teeth come over the bottom teeth. Um, as you know, I have an underbite all my life, and I always thought I always had to have surgery to correct this. But my dentist, Dr. Robin Asbury, said that I didn't have to have surgery, and so now I'm really amazed it's my last Invisalign. So I want to show you the differences between tray number one and tray number 33. These are my upper teeth, and as you can see, my upper teeth were very squared off because they were hiding behind my bottom teeth because I had an underbite. So the, Invisal the Invisaligns over the course of nine months rounded out my upper teeth. And with my lower teeth, the Invisaligns actually created more space in my lower teeth. Look how um, short the space is compared to how wide the space is up here. And you can also see how the molars are not aligned. They're not very straight, but after nine months of using Invisaligns, see how straight my molars are? There's no indentation like you see right in here. So now my upper teeth fit right on top of my lower teeth, and I've got a beautiful new smile. <laughs> So if you look at this view of Invisalign, this front view basically of how my teeth came together, this was tray number one where my bottom teeth came right on top of my upper teeth, okay? And this is tray number 30 where my top teeth now are aligned right on top of my bottom teeth. So I want you to notice one other, one other thing here is that when my teeth came together, see how off the midline is? The midline of my top teeth is right here. The midline of my bottom teeth is right here, okay? And you can see how this tray shifts over a little bit on top and, um, let, and less space right in here. However, with by tray number 33, the midline of my top teeth are now aligned with the midline of my bottom teeth. Absolutely amazing for nine months of wearing Invisaligns. I can't thank Invisalign enough. So I wanna show you the difference in a side view of the lower teeth here. As you can see, my original tray, look how jagged that edge is right there. And look how my incisors actually just jutted right up uh, because basically there were no upper teeth to keep it from growing upwards. And as you can see by tray number 33, my teeth are very well aligned. There's no jutting up of these incisors anymore. And guess what? I have less receding gums because these incisors are actually pushed down. So amazing what Invisaligns have done for me. So we're gonna put it on and uh, show you what my teeth look like as I put it on. So I'm gonna take my old Invisaligns off. There's my old Invisaligns. I'm gonna wash them a little bit so that they don't uh, because I've saved all of them from number one to number 33. Um, and this last tray of Invisaligns, I'm gonna put the rubber bands on. And my doctor, Robin Asbury, says these rubber bands are very important. They always need to be worn, and that's what moves your teeth. Uh, my teeth the most are the rubber bands. So uh, we've been doing the rubber bands now for every day, at least, you know, 22 hours a day. I only take them off to eat and, you know, I, I eat a lot. So, uh, you know, but anyway. Mm. 
one. They're always a little tight when I change a new tray. It's always a little tighter uh, than the before. But can you believe that? This is my last tray. So good to talk to you. Thanks for following me on this journey. Um, I hope to see you soon on another video. Take care. Bye-bye.